Join the party. Have a hearty glass of rum. Hey everybody, it's Adam. Today I'm going to give you my recipe for roasted acorn squash. It's really simple, kind of rustic looking, and it will help my mom get rid of all this acorn squash that she has from her garden. So let's get started. These are acorn squash, and as you can see, they look like acorns. You can find them in the grocery store in the fall. They're really inexpensive, and they taste pretty much just like butternut squash. They're a little bit more orange, uh, but I'm just gonna cut through them now and scoop out the seeds right in half. It's gonna be a little tough to cut through, so be careful if you're not used to using a sharp knife. Before I start cutting up my squash into smaller pieces, while it's in these little bowls, it's easy to scoop out the seeds. So I'm just gonna take a big spoon and scoop them out into a bowl. If you wanted to use these to dry them and then toast them and eat them as a snack or grow them in your garden next year, you could totally do it. All right, I've taken all the seeds and slimy stuff out of my squash. It's just like carving up a jack-o'-lantern. Now I'm just gonna chop them up into smaller pieces. I'm gonna quarter each half of the squash. I'm gonna leave the skin on because I think it's a little bit prettier and a little bit easier to serve, actually. I used two acorn squash and I've cut them each into four pieces. So I've got 16 pieces total. They look like this, that they're about this size. They're gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna to toss them in a baking pan, sprinkle them with a little bit of sea salt, fresh cracked pepper, and some olive oil, and let them bake in a 395 degree oven for 40 minutes to an hour-ish. I've got these all dressed up and I'm just going to stick them in the oven for 40 minutes to an hour at 395. I took my squash out after about 50 minutes. It just started to turn brown and when I stuck a fork through it, it came in and out easily and then I just served it with a little bit of rosemary. Thanks so much for watching everybody. This recipe and others are available on my website, adamcrowcatering.com and watch for more episodes of my cooking show, Cook with Adam, on YouTube. And if you really like them, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. See you next time. Join the party, have a hearty glass of rum.